Hi, in this video, we're gonna run through the carousel component and I'm gonna show you how you can use it to create a showcase for your product images or just to reveal any images in a really nice animated slider like so. Great, so let's go ahead and recreate something similar like this. I'm just gonna delete this one here. And on the left sidebar, you will see we've got the components tab. So if I go over here, I'm gonna go grab the carousel and drag it on to the canvas. Now we're gonna be adding loads more components to really speed up your workflow as time goes by. So for now, what we're gonna do is just preview this and you're about to see we've got this nice animation. So what you can also do is choose different presets and we've got a whole bunch of nice preset designs and animations. So if you want something like this with like a continual scroll, you can choose that. I'm gonna go back to this one here and what I'm gonna do is just bring it up a bit and bring it down like so. So we've got that same kind of size like so. Cool, so now to replace the images is really simple. What you wanna do is go to media and you'll be able to see your images that you've imported. So if you haven't imported any, just click on import and grab your images and simply drag and drop them onto the carousel. So it's really that simple. I've got like a, also a logo that I wanna to add to show you how to uh, add your yeah, kind of logo reveals. So now that I've got this, what I'm going to do is just preview that to give you a quick view. Okay, cool. So over on the right panel, you're about to see underneath presets, images, we can edit the individual slides on the carousel. So what you can do is reorder the slides by simply dragging the slides up and down. And this is the first slide on the carousel, and this is the last one. So you'll be able to see when we get to the end, we've got the logo like so. Now with each of the individual slides, you can make individual edits. So for this logo, what I wanna do is make the logo smaller. And to do that, this is great for logos or PNG images. You can simply select the scaling and choose contain. And when you do that, you'll see we've got the option to adjust the padding for this image. So I could bring it down like so, and that looks a lot better on the slide. And another thing I also want to do is adjust this slide's pause, okay? So instead of it going from that slide to the next one, what I can do is bring up the pause and let's say I want it to stay for about four seconds. And what that's going to do now is once it transitions to the slide, it's just going to remain on that slide like so. You can also adjust the speed of the transition for individual slides or go over to the global setting and you can adjust the transition speed. So let's say you want it to go a lot faster, you could just bring down the speed and let's just preview that. You can also adjust the pause for each of the slides. So let's say you want it to stay on the image for about two seconds or so. And you can also do things like adjust the corner radius of your slides. And this is great if you've got a cover image like so, you can bring this up. And if you actually just scale this like so, you could go ahead and bring up the corner radius and make a circular type slide. What we're gonna do is just, I'll just bring this back up and bring this down vertically. And what we can do is also adjust the side slides, okay? So before they come onto the screen, you have to see we've got these options over here. So the side scaling basically sh shows the size of the slides next to the main slide before it comes on. So you can bring it up like this. And when this animates on, you have to see that it just kind of comes in like so. You can also adjust the opacity of the slide. So if we can take it down to 0%, this is gonna be look good for this kind of video. And we can also bring that side scaling down as well and the side padding. The side padding basically is the space between each of the slides on the side. So if we just preview this now, we've got that nice animation. And I might bring that side scaling down a bit more up the padding a bit like so. And you've also got the option to adjust how many loops that this entire carousel goes through. So at the moment it's just going through once, showing the images once, like this. But if we make it for example, to two loops, you best see that it goes around twice and 
you can have the same carousel going around twice like so. You can also adjust the orientation, so the direction in which the slides animate. So let's say we want to make it vertical. We can adjust it like so. And you can choose the direction of the animation. So we can go, for example, forwards like so. And last thing, you can also adjust the easing of the transition animation. So at the moment, we've got a nice smooth type of easing. If you want to create that continual loop, what you could do is click linear and maybe remove the uh, the pause. And you'd have to see they've got this kind of bouncing animation. So playing around with the easing, you can really create unique looking animations for your carousel. So it's just a quick tutorial showing you how to use a carousel component. It's really quite easy to use, so make sure to try it out yourself and create your own kind of sliders. And as always, have fun creating.